This video is sponsored by Envato Elements. Hey guys, what's up? I am Nikhil from Go Potions and welcome back to this brand new After Effects tutorial. In today's video, I'm going to show you guys how to create a liquid style logo reveal animation inside of After Effects using Trap Code Particular. Now, Trap Code Particular is a third party plugin, so I have mentioned the link in the description if in case if you wish to purchase it or you can try out the free trial version as well. But before we start, make sure to like this video and subscribe to the channel if you're watching my video for the very first time i have more than 500 plus after effects tutorials on my channel that you can check it out so with that said let's jump straight into after effects and get started All right, so here we are in After Effects. Let's start by creating a new composition. Let's call this render 1920 by 1080, 30 FPS and 10 seconds long. Press OK. Then create another new comp. This is going to be a logo placeholder. So let's call this logo and press OK. Drag and drop in any logo that you want to use. I'm going to use this Google logo just because this is a very colorful one then create another new composition let's call this logo reveal press ok drag in the logo composition and then make sure it's not selected go right here and double click to create a rectangle let's call this a reveal and we can animate this rectangle the way we want now let's go into effects and presets and search for an effect called turbulent displays. Double click to apply that onto our shape layer. Let's bring down the size of this to 75 and increase the complexity to 10. And now we can animate this in order to reveal our logo. So go right here into the toggle switch and change the logo track mat to alpha matte. And now we can basically animate this like so. So let's place it out like that. Hit P to bring down the position, create a keyframe, go to around five seconds and let's bring that up like so. And then we can select the keyframes and press F9 to easy ease them. So now we have a pretty basic reveal, which looks like this. Now let's create another new composition. Let's call this logo emitter drag the logo reveal composition and then press ctrl d to duplicate it and then change the track mat of this one to alpha inverted then move the top layer maybe five to six frames forward in time like that and then drag these two at the very start like so so now we have something like this now to get rid of these lines we can select this go into effects and presets and add an effect called simple choker double click to apply that and set this to two so now we have this very nice reveal the more distance we have in between these two layers the more bigger the line or the reveal is going to be so i recommend to keep this between four to six frames so we have this very nice reveal now let's create another new composition Let's call this particles and then we can add the logo emitter comp inside this. So there we have, so there we have it. Let's close this. Let's hide this. Press control Y to create a new solid. Let's call this particles and press OK. Then go into effects and presets and search for trap code particular. There we go. Just drag and drop it. All right, there we go. Now, if you're using an older version of trap code particular, then your layout would look a bit different, but all the properties are going to be there. You just need to find the right one. So first of all, let's go into the emitter and change the emitter type from point to layer and then go into the layer emitter and let's select this logo emitter from here. So it's saying layer emitter must be a 3D layer. So press OK toggle switch and make this into a 3d layer 
select it again go into the layer emitter and let's set this to none and then again set this to logo emitter so now the reason we don't see any particles is because the count of these particles is just 100 so let's increase this to around 500,000 and there we go looking pretty nice let's set the emitter z emitter size z to 0 bring down the velocity to around 30 and then close the emitter settings now let's go into the particle settings i'll bring down the life of this particle to around 2 let's set the sphere feather to 0 i'll keep the size at 5 go into size randomness and increase this all the way up to 100 go into size over life and in the presets i'm going to select the second one so we have something like this which is looking very very nice and then let's close this then i'm going to go into the displays and turbulence field if you're using an older version this should be under the air section i believe let's increase the effect size of this to around let's go with 30 so we have some variations as you can see looking pretty cool to make things run a bit more smoother i can go into the rendering and set this to gpu make sure if you're using a strong or powerful gpu set this to gpu and that should make the rendering quite fast now let's go into the lighting and shadows turn this on and let's increase the shadow light opacity to around six so we have some nice shadows into our particles and they look very very nice all right so that is looking pretty nice so i believe that's all for the particular section trap code particular section now let's go into effects and presets and search for an effect called vector blur that this will help us to achieve that liquidy look so i'll set the type from natural to perpendicular and let's increase this to around 12 and then increase the map softness to 20 and now we have this very nice kind of a liquidy style that's going to make things a bit heavy on the system but that's fine it's looking very very cool now let's also add some glow on this so i'll go into effects and presets and search for glow double click to apply this let's um increase the glow radius like so and also increase the glow intensity so we have something like this now before we move to the next step let's quickly take a look at our today's sponsor envato elements download unlimited after effects templates logo reveals background music sound effects fonts stock footages templates mockups and more Visit the first link in the description and download anything for free for 7 days. With that said, I also want to tell you guys about Envato Tute Plus YouTube channel. Everything here is entirely free of charge. You can find full courses on topics ranging from Photoshop and in design to After Effects and Premiere Pro, all the way to package designing. The channel gets updated with new content frequently, so make sure to keep checking in to see if there's something new and interesting for you to learn. To know more about them, check the link in the description below. Now let's go into our main render composition and drag the particles comp. And beneath this, I'll add the logo reveal. So now if I preview this, we have something like this. Pretty cool. Now select the particles composition, go into effects and presets and search for um, drop shadow effect. Double click to apply this and leave it at default. Let's set the distance to zero and softness to five. So this will help us to add some depth into our scene and that is looking very, very nice. Let's add a background. So hit control Y to create a new solid Call this BG for background. I'm going to make it black, press OK, put this at the back and whenever you're working with the glows, always make sure you work in 16 bits. So hold Alt and click on this icon and then right click, create a new adjustment layer, place this on the top. Let's call this CC 
and I'm going to add a basic noise on this just to get rid of any kind of color bendings. So add noise of around 2%. And now let's preview this. So as you can see, this is looking very, very nice. Now let's go ahead and finally add closure to this. So let's go right here at six seconds, I believe. Select the logo reveal. Press S to bring down the scale property, create a keyframe, go to seven seconds. And let's bring that down to around 50 or maybe 60, 50 is a bit too much. And then I'll go at the very start again. Let's select the text tool and type in the text. So www.google.com. And I'll just place it right here in the center. Let's go right here. All right. Select this. Hit P to bring down the position. Create a keyframe. Hit T to bring down the opacity and create a keyframe. Press U. Go back. Bring that down and set the opacity to zero. Select all these keyframe, press F9 to easy ease them. Go into the graph editor and right click, select edit speed graph. And in the center, I'm going to create a peak like so. So now if I preview this, we have something like this, which looks very, very nice and snappy. And there you have your liquidy style logo reveal inside of After Effects using trap code particular. So that is all for today, guys. I hope you enjoyed this tutorial. If you did, do let me know in the comment section below. And if you're new to After Effects, then be sure to check out my getting started with After Effects course. Link is in the description. And you can also follow me on Instagram at dope.motions and Nikhil Pavar. And with that said, if you're interested in more logo reveal animations, then I have a complete playlist on my channel. So I do recommend you guys to go ahead and check it out. So with that said, I will see you guys in the next video. Till then, take care and always stay raw, stay creative. Peace out. Yeah, yeah.